Good afternoon, Spinnaker Facebook community. I'm here with Holly Gary, as promised. Hi, Holly. How are you today? Hi, I'm fabulous, Jennifer. Thank you. Good to hear. Um, Holly is the operations manager at Spinnaker, which can mean a lot of different things. Um, property management companies are very busy, and I know that you have two sets of people that you serve. You serve owners and also residents. So um, can you tell us a little bit about what you do, Holly? What is it you do for Spinnaker? <laughs> Easier to say what I don't do. I was going to say it would be a shorter list to say what you don't do, but try to just give us the highlights. <laughs> um, I manage the day-to-day -day operations, um, mm -hmm. property management. Uh, right now we're down a leasing person, so I'm doing all the marketing, the showing, the doing all the, we do remote shows right now due to COVID. We're not doing any in-person shows. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm handling the lease paperwork, uh, the move-in. Um, I am help, actually I help with maintenance. Um, just to make sure that everything going as planned and on track and everybody's happy. Um, one of my jobs as operations manager is to do all of the renewal. So when the year comes about, um, I reach out to the residents, usually about 60 to 90 days prior to find out if they would like to renew with us. We'll decide on a market rate. Uh, Mark and I will usually go over and figure out what the area rate is going to be. Mm -hmm. um, ask the owner if, if that's what they want to to approve and then reach out to the tenants, get that all signed. Um, I do, I handle all the legality. So if a resident isn't paying rent, um, I will handle the eviction process all mm -hmm. the way to go to court. Wow. So you're filling in on marketing and you're helping with leases and lease renewals and you're helping if there's a problem that goes on with a tenant in resolving past due amounts and notices. Right. Um, has your job shifted at all because of COVID-19? Have you been doing more of anything? Absolutely. More of everything. Yeah. Um, just because we're taking that extra care and that, that, that personable Feel, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. um, because we have a lot of tenants and owners scared right now. They don't know where their next dollar is coming from. They don't know where their next meal is coming from. Um, and so, yeah, it's a lot. Of, we're we're gathering resources. Um, there was just even this morning, I was calling different agencies to find out if they had help for rental. Um, I have one of our residents who just told our accountant they didn't have any food. So we're trying to get food resources, uh, trying to just anything we can do. Um, and if not, pull together and figure it out here. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's incredible to hear. So you're in touch with them about housing, and so you're hearing about other needs. And um, we just had a pretty good conversation about Landlord Liaison Program and the Connector, I think it's called. Housing, um, connector. housing connector in King County and landlord liaison program in Pierce County that you, you dial for a resident, you dial two one one and you can get hooked up to housing help. And uh, they work in conjunction with property owners uh, or property management companies like you and get people in homes. And um, also uh, just talked a lot about business as usual in some ways, but in some ways, not so much. There's an increase in inventory, but, um, there's also an increase in delinquencies and people that are struggling to pay their rent. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. So I know you're busy. So um, what is it that is your biggest, well, what do you love about what you do? Huh. Um, hmm. Every day is different. Every day is different. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, when residents or owners get to me, there's a, there's a problem. So, mm -hmm there to resolve the conflict or figure out what we can do. Um, and knowing that I'm helping and knowing that I'm doing the right thing and that they're happy, that's why I do what I do. 
Yeah, just just taking care of people and loving people. I don't think you can work in your industry if you don't really enjoy all different kinds of people because it's such a people job, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. What's your what? I could guess at this question, but what's your greatest challenge every day? <laughs> <laughs> you only can name one. No, and, you, and it can't be Mark Malzis. <laughs> um. You know, honestly, and it's probably I'll say this because it's it's so it's happening so much lately. Um, when a resident puts in a work order and they 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 need help or something's wrong, and I have to get it approved. So we have to reach out to the owner and say such and such is broke or stuff such and such is wrong, and the owner says, "Nah, I'm not going to do that right now." Or no, we'll do that next week. Or they broke it; they got to pay for it. Wow, oh, right. But then having to go back and tell that resident that, and the resident yeah. freaks out and yells and screams. But it's like it, it's very challenging because you want to keep everybody happy and you want to keep the peace, but we're still the middleman. So I, I think that's that's probably one of my biggest challenges right now. Yeah, so you are trying to keep two sets of people happy, which can be a struggle. The owner wants to remain profitable and the resident wants to be in a home that they enjoy and feel safe. And sometimes resources are limited. Sometimes that's a probably a subjective decision. And sometimes it's a reality decision probably in the current market, right? So you can't fix everything all at the same time, right? So, wow, I can see that would be difficult. And a lot of, I just, I think your job demands a lot of communication skills. Oh, and sure. and as the person communicating to you is communicating, right? Like matching their style and understanding, oh, I'm talking to a resident who's struggling or, oh, I'm talking to an owner who wants his portfolio maintained and very different customers, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's a challenge. And um, so what is it that you, um, what is it that you do when you're not at work? Do you go home at five o'clock and really check out and don't work at night? Or do you find yourself working into dinner hour? Or what does that look like? I always work. So um, because I uh, run the operations, I need to make sure that everybody's taken care of 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right. Uh, we do have other people put in place for that, you know, a maintenance on call or something. But if something happens and that maintenance on call doesn't, that line doesn't get answered, they're calling me. Yes. So I need to be available. I need to be, be present. Yeah. Constantly. Um, I do have four kids. <laughs> oh my um, goodness. Wow. Yeah. Um, I have a 29 year old. Mm -hmm. Um, I just turned 19. Mm -hmm. I have just turned 16 and a daughter that will be 14 in September. Oh my gosh. You have a whole bunch of teenagers and hopefully and a young, a young adult who's thriving and doing well, but that's a lot of teenagers. Yes. And three chihuahuas. So, <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That's a lot of responsibility to do what you do for a living and also be taking care of all those kids. Yeah, that's they, amazing. So, yeah. And do you live here in Tacoma? I do. Yes. My husband and I purchased our first home a couple years ago over on the hilltop. Nice. Very yeah. nice. So do you ever turn Spinnaker property management completely off? Do you take a Sunday afternoon where you don't take calls and... That's crazy. I need to talk to Mark. He needs to give you an afternoon off. <laughs> oh, it's so Mark in his defense begged me to, to, to take a day off. Oh, so. that's that's good to know. So it's you being a good hard worker. And um, so is that because you get maintenance calls? Is the 24 seven thing because of maintenance that comes in and stuff? Sure. And sometimes owners are overseas or they're deployed or the, or, or our tenants are. I, I need to be available when they're available oh when calls are coming in yeah i can see that yeah because you have owners probably from all over do you have owners all over the world or nation all over the world wow wow well that is a huge responsibility so have you always been in that role or were you recently made an operations manager did he hire you as an operations manager or did you grow into that role <laughs> i grew into the role uh very fast uh no i I was hired on um, with Mark when he was with Windermere. Oh, and you were. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so I think I was hired on, and two weeks later, we moved. 
and turned into Spinnaker. So I've been with Spinnaker ever since he came here. So he went off on his own and it made his own company basically. And you came with him. Yeah. I remember seeing that in your bio. So if you want to read more about Holly, you can go to the about us section of their website, which is spinnakerpm.com. And I've got the phone number flashing at the bottom here. I have a little um, banner flashing. Um, if they are interested to um, talk with you more about like, I can see an owner wanting to know sort of the insides of how you run your business. Um, are they free to call you or email you or reach out to you? Always. Okay. Always. Whether they're working with you today or they're thinking about working with you, right? Absolutely. And if, and if I'm a resident looking for a home, I call in and am I talking to you directly or who am I talking to first? A variety of people probably. Yeah. It's either going to be Kathy Leandro or myself. Gotcha. Okay. Very good. All right. Well, thank you, Holly. It's nice to meet you. I, we finally did your staff go live, which is amazing. And I'm glad we finally got it done. And I hope this just gives a face to the name to the Facebook community. Um, a lot of times people want to call in for help, but it's nice to have met you online before they call in and talk with you. Um, so it's nice to meet you and I hope you take care and don't work too much. And um, we'll be talking to you again. I'm sure we'll, we'll have to figure out a fun topic for you to share. Maybe some humorous stories or something from your career we can share with the Facebook audience. You're like, no, no. <laughs> um, but anyway, nice, nice to see you. And uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks, Holly. Take care. Take care. Bye -bye.